We are thanking you, oh God, because of the grace uh, that has been upon us, oh Lord, the grace uh, that has enabled us to pray and to fast, oh God. Oh, Oh, 
We ask you to receive it in the name of Jesus. And as we hear your word briefly, O oh God, we pray that you minister to our spirits and to our souls. Lord, let there be a change through the power of your word. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Everybody shout a big amen. Uh, let's put our hands together as we celebrate the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's also appreciate uh, our worship team as they get back to their seats in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome 
each one of you to the service today. All that are on ground and everyone else that is joining us through the social media. And uh, we also want to thank the team that had gone for the Mashakaya led by Pastor Ben and all the other people that were there. It is a sacrifice to start the service at 2 p.m. and then you have come to this service also. May God bless you and multiply his grace upon your lives. I request that you be seated now so that briefly we can hear the word of God. Then we can take our time in prayer and then we conclude with the Holy Communion. I want to thank God this afternoon because of the way he has been together with us since the day we began this program of prayer and fasting and also coming to the house of God on a daily basis. It has taken the hand of God for the success we have gotten those three days and this being the fourth day. I want us to now go straight to the word of God and we are going to read one of the verses that I gave you yesterday in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 in NLT. And then we are going to read the, the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 28. We begin Deuteronomy 8 verse number 18. Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. In order to fulfill the covenant he confirmed to your ancestors with a noon. Please don't go to the other one. We just go back. I just want to read that first part of this verse. Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. Genesis 1, 28. Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish of the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that, are, that carry along the ground. I want to bring us a message this afternoon that I've entitled, Supernatural empowerment. Supernatural empowerment. So let me begin by defining this word, empowerment. Number one, empowerment means to enable. Empowerment, number one, means to enable. Number two, it means to give ability, to enable, and to give ability. So when we are talking about supernatural empowerment, we are talking about God giving you ability or enabling you to achieve the impossible. So we can conclude that supernatural empowerment is the ability given by God in order to achieve the impossible. The Bible has told us that we should remember the Lord our God because it is he that give us, gives us the power to be successful. I want you to understand 
with all your efforts minus the empowerment of God, your effort will be fruitless. What makes the effort of a man fruitful is what we call supernatural empowerment. When you have effort and you are empowered by God, then you become fruitful in life. And I want you to understand that for you to be successful, supernatural empowerment is crucial. If you will become what God wants you to become in this life, you require to be empowered by God so that you may be able to become that. You know, the Bible says in the book of First Samuel, chapter number 2, verse number 9b, we have read this before, that when at the, at the end of that verse, it says, for by strength, no man shall prevail. I want you to understand in the year 2023, you will not prevail by your strength. If you will prevail, it will not be by your strength. It shall be by the empowerment that you receive from God. And I am praying that as I bring this word, that Jehovah will begin to empower you for success in the year 2023. Lift up your hand and say, Father, empower my life. And I want you to understand, it is only the people that are divinely empowered that succeed in life. I will say that again. It is only the people that are divinely empowered that succeeds in life. And that is why you find the Bible talking about it is not by power. It is not by might. But it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Zechariah 4 verse 6. God is saying it is not by might. It is not by power. But it is by my spirit, says the Lord. So I want you to understand, it is not by your power that you will succeed, that you will prosper, that you will make progress. In the year 2023, it will take the spirit of the Lord to empower you to succeed in life. And that is what I have come to say. When you, when you read the Bible, and please just write down so that we don't take much time. We, 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 we spare some time for prayer. I want you to note down the book of Luke chapter number 4. You can write chapter number 4 from verse 14 to verse number 22. Now, the Bible is talking about Jesus, who was the son of God. And the Bible says... That for 30 years, Jesus did not make any impact. 30 years. He never made any impact. But when he was endued with power, then his fame spread like wildfire. After receiving empowerment from God himself, the man Jesus that never made the impact for 30 years, he made impact instantly. And I want you to understand, when God empowers a man, that man becomes irresistible. And I declare in the name of Jesus, as you receive empowerment tonight, you become irresistible in the year 2023. The fame of Jesus went all over. It was spreading all over. Why? Empowerment, empowerment, empowerment. And that is why the Bible says, when you read in Acts chapter 10, verse number 38, how Jesus, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went everywhere doing good. You know, 
before he was endued with power, he never made any impact. I declare today, as you receive empowerment from on high, you will begin to make impact in your generation in Jesus' name. Wherever you find yourself, you will make impact in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I was reading from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, when, when Saul had gone to look for the donkeys, and then he met, he met with the prophet Samuel. And the Bible says, when he received the power from above, when he was anointed and received empowerment, there are certain things that he began to do that he could not have done before. It was the same Saul, but now this Saul is empowered and he started doing what he could not do. The Bible says when he met the prophet, he began to prophesy, though he was not a prophet. Why? Because he had received empowerment from above. And I want to declare to you today, as God empowers you from this service, you shall do the things that you could not do before. There are things that you are not qualified for that God will allow you to be able to do. Why? Empowerment. Empowerment. I declare there will be supernatural empowerment. Look at your neighbor and say, you will be supernaturally empowered. When you look at the Bible in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 2, that you, you read from verse number 1, the disciples, when they were empowered from on high, the Bible says they went all over. They turned the world upside down because of the empowerment. I decree in the name of Jesus, what you could not do before, you will begin to do it by the power of God that is about to rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. They turned the world upside down. Look at your neighbor and say, you are one of them that will make impact. You know, I was reading from the book of uh, 2 Samuel chapter number 23. If you read uh, from verse 8 to verse 11, there are some mighty men of David that are mentioned there. Please, let's read from verse number 8. Now, hear what the Bible is saying. These are the names of the mighty men of David. The mighty men whom David had, Jeshob, Beshebeth, the Tacomanite, chief among the captains. <laughs> now hear this. He was called Adino, the Ensite, because he had killed 800 men at one time. This is what we are talking about, empowerment. A man alone, he is standing alone. With a spear, he is fighting men. He is killing 800 men alone. What was not hard before, it was hard with this man. I decree by the word of God, what was never hard in your clan, in your family, will be hard by because of you when you receive the empowerment from God. So please, can you go to verse number 9? Now they say, after him was Eliezer the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men of David, when they were defied by the Philistines who were gathered there for battle, and the men of Israel had retreated. All the army had retreated. And this Eliezer son of Dodo was left alone. Everybody else ran away from the battle. But Eliezer, son of Dodo, he stood his ground. And now the verse 10, the, listen to verse 10. He arose and attacked the Philistines until his heart was weary and his hands stuck to the sword. He, was, he stood and he fought all the Philistines until the sword could not leave his hand. The sword became as one with his hand. And the Bible says, God gave Israel victory because of one man. 
Eliezer, the son of Dodo, I am seeing people that will have victory where others are running away. Jehovah will use you to give victory to your families, to give victory to this ministry, to give victory to where you are working. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, the Lord brought about a great victory that day through one man. One man, Eliezer, the son of Dodo. He brought victory. Now, when you jump to verse number 20 of the same, the same chapter, we see another man. Please, let's go. The Bible says, Benaiah was the son of Jehoiada, the son of, Varia, the, the son of a Varian man from Kebzeel, who had done many deeds. He had killed two lion like horses of Moab. He also had gone down and killed a lion in the midst of a pit on a snowy day. Now hear this. This is a man alone, single-handedly. He is running after a lion. When the lion entered into the pit, he also entered into the pit. He was empowered by God. I declare this year, there are certain people that God will empower to do that which no man is able to do. I declare there will be an ability that will be released upon your life that when you start doing things, it will appear like an army had done the things. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I declare empowerment upon your life. Empowerment upon your life. That you will do the impossible in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me say this. Without empowerment, you can never do exploits on earth. Without empowerment, you will be limited in whatever you do in life. Without empowerment, you will be defeated by the affairs of this life. I want you to know, in the journey of 2023, there will be many oppositions. You require empowerment to succeed against them. May you receive empowerment. Lift up your hand and say, Father, empower my life. Now I want you to know, unless you are empowered in this year, 2023, you will remain on the floor. But I declare, I will not remain on the floor because I am receiving empowerment from God. I must arise. I must become. I must go where God has earmarked for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will achieve the impossible in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that God will empower you to do the impossible that God will empower you to rise above the others that God will empower you to break the records of your family in the mighty name of Jesus receive empowerment by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I declare God will empower you you will not struggle in life you will not struggle in 2023 by the power of God you will not struggle lift up your hand and say because God is empowering me I will not struggle in 2023. We will not struggle. We refuse to struggle. We refuse to struggle. We refuse to struggle. Let me say this. When God empowers you, those things that look impossible becomes possible. I am seeing a man by the name of Noah. God approaches Noah and he says, I am going to destroy the earth with floods. And he is telling Noah, now I want you to build an ark. And not just, let me say this. <coughs> when you are told to build a house, your own house, it is tough. Pastor, I have built. I know it is tough. It took me two years to build. Now God is telling Noah, I want you to build an ark, and not just a normal ark, an ark that can fit all the animals, pair. An impossible task. But because he was empowered by God, he was able to do the ark. And not only that, I want you to know, God told him, I want you to bring in animals in pairs. Kapo, kapo, kapo. And I want you to understand, starting from Getono, all those down, all the way to the 
elephant. I want you to bring them into the earth. It is not easy. You cannot be able to do it by the power of a human being. For by strength, no man shall, shall prevail. So God empowered him. He was able to build the ark and to do the impossible. Brought in all the animals into the ark. This is what I'm talking about. Crazy things you are going to do this year. Crazy things that you're going to do this year. When people look at what God has enabled you to do, they will cover testimony and they will say, this is not the hand of Bogua. This is the hand of God. I declare by the word of God, God is about to empower you to do things that normally you could not do in the mighty name of Jesus. I am seeing another man by the name of Samson. He is going to the forest. And he is catching foxes. And he has caught 300 foxes. And he has caught 300 foxes. But Samson, he entered the forest. He captures 300 foxes. And not only that, he ties their tails. Couple. He was taking a man and a woman of a fox and tying them. And it is impossible. But with empowerment, it is possible. I came to say, what they said you cannot do, you will do this year. Where they said you cannot go, you will go this year. The level they said you cannot rise, you will rise this year. Why? There is supernatural empowerment. Supernatural empowerment. And he burned all the... The, the fields of the Philistines. Because God had empowered him. God had empowered him. Look at your neighbor and say, may God empower you in Jesus' name. Tell them again, may God empower you in Jesus' name. Then we go to this man by the name of David. David, he is very young. About 13 years. But he could not, the bears could not be able to kill him. The lions could not be able to kill him. He is about 13, that from 13 to 17 years. But he is still killing lions. He is killing bears. I don't know whether you know what a bear is. <laughs> what is a bear? He, he is, no, he doesn't have anything. He is catching, he is capturing them and tearing them down. How? Empowerment. You will kill lions. I don't know what people have called lions in this generation. You are empowered to kill them. You are empowered to kill bears. Whatever is killing others, you will destroy them in Jesus' name. He is killing. And then he is coming. And there is a giant that has troubled the entire of Israel. The army of Israel. But this boy, he's an empowered boy. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm an empowered man. Or woman, whatever you are, you call yourself. Say, tell them, I'm empowered. And because of empowerment, he comes to the battle. He finds even the, the, um, the, the major of the army is there. And even the king is there. They are not able to handle the giant. But here comes an empowered boy. An empowered boy. Who is able to do what the king cannot do? Who is able to do what the army cannot do? And the Bible says, he asks what will be done for the man that will deal with that, that giant. And the, to cut the story short, he dealt with the giant. This year, you will deal with giants. Every giant that is bringing other people down, you will deal with it in Jesus' name. What other people are calling impossible, it will be easy for you. Empowerment makes things easy. That's what we are saying. It will be a year with a difference. Because when God empowers you, then you begin to operate with the power of God. Okay. Let me say this. 
God is the source of empowerment. I'll say that again. God is the source of empowerment. If you want this empowerment, you need to call upon God. And that is why the entire of today, we have been calling God, oh Lord, empower me for success. Oh Lord, empower me for progress. Oh Lord, empower me for prosperity. Oh Lord, empower me for establishment. Oh Lord, empower me for the ministry. Oh Lord, empower me for every spiritual battle. You cannot win by your strength. The devil is older than you. You can't win over the devil with your own strength. You require the strength from on high so that you are able to handle the issues of life. When you are empowered, when you supernatural empowerment helps you to silence your enemies. Now I declare by the word of God, as God empowers you, you shall silence every enemy. You shall silence every enemy. Every David that is here, you are about to silence every Goriath. In the year 2023, lift up your hand and say, I will silence every enemy. Whenever you are empowered, you receive the power, the ability, to silence your enemies. Number two, you are able to possess your possessions. Or you are able to possess your inheritance. I will tell you this. There is an inheritance for each one of us. But the devil knows it. Therefore, he will fight for you not to have the inheritance. But you are receiving empowerment tonight. To be able to possess your inheritance. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist till now. The kingdom of God suffered violence. But the violent take it by force. When you are empowered you become violent. You take everything that God has said belongs to you. We refuse to settle for less than what God has earmarked for us. We must possess. So as you are being empowered. You will silence your enemies. You will possess your inheritance. You will fulfill your destiny in grand style. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and say, Father, envelop me with empowerment. So this empowerment will help you to overcome every opposition in the year 2023. There will be battles. I am not lying to you. There will be battles. I don't want to tell you because you are born again that life will be smooth. In 2023, it will not be smooth. There will be bumps along the way. There will be opposition along the way. But you are being empowered to handle the opposition. Anyone that will stand on your way, you are going to kick out of the way by the empowerment that you are receiving by the word of God in Jesus' name. Look at your neighbor and say, no enemy will be able to stand against you in the year 2023. As you get empowered, you will begin to have uncommon progress. And common progress, and common progress. I prophesy to you, and common progress in your life, and common progress in your job, in your businesses, in every area of your life. As you get empowered tonight, may you have uncommon progress. Uncommon progress. When you are supernaturally empowered. You begin to do or to achieve the impossible. As we said before. I see you achieving the impossible. That which you could not achieve before. By the reason of empowerment. I see you achieving in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and say I will achieve the impossible. Yes. This is what we are talking about. We are not talking about. Human beings, we are talking, we are not talking about human ability. 
we are talking about God's ability. Testimonies. Testimonies will be hard from your camp. Testimonies will be hard from your families. In the name of Jesus. Because God will cause you to achieve the impossible in the mighty name of Jesus. When God empowers you, you begin to move with speed. You begin to move with speed. You begin to overtake. You begin to move more than you have ever moved before. And that is why you see, when God empowered Elijah, Elijah on foot, is more than a hub on a chariot. I prophesy to all of you, by divine empowerment, by supernatural empowerment, receive speed for 2023. Speed for 2023. What others will achieve in December? Achieve it in January. Achieve it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm okay at speed. Neighbor, I'm okay at speed. This is what we are talking about. Because we are not ordinary. Please, if you're ordinary, you don't belong here. We are not ordinary. Ordinary people walk. We, we are flying. We are flying in 2023. May God empower each one of us. When God empowers you, you break every limitation. All the limitations that they have put for you, you break them. All the limitations that the devil put for you, you break them. And I declare in 2023, by, the, by supernatural empowerment, you will break every limitation. Please confess it by yourself. Say, by divine empowerment, I will break every limitation in the year 2023. May God empower you. You know, there's a scripture. I don't know whether it is Luke chapter number 9 and verse 1. Where the Bible says, and he called the twelve, and he empowered them. He said, yeah. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power. You know why you are here? God has called you into Zion to empower you. God has gathered you here, so that you may be empowered to do the impossible. People will depend on you this year. People will depend on you. They will see God in your life. They will see the hand of God working in your life. Father, empower me for success this year. Lift up your hand and say, Father, empower me for success this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that it's already six, and I wanted to stop at six. But I want to say a few things. Because God will empower you, you must make sure that you must maintain and sustain the empowerment. So, how do you do it? Number one, by remaining connected to the empowerer. If there is any word like that one. If the teachers who are here. Is there any word like empower? Maybe, maybe we can change it. Remain by remaining connected to the source of the power. That's better. Remain connected to the source of the power. Number two. By walking in righteousness. Number three, by walking in humility. 
then you will maintain and sustain the empowerment that you receive from God. I know we read in Genesis 1 verse number 28 where God was empowering Adam and Eve to be able to be fruitful, to multiply, and to increase. And I want to declare to you that the blessing of God will empower you in the year 2023. The blessing of God will empower each one of us in the year 2023. I request that we be upstanding because time is over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He called the 12 and he gave them power. He has called you and me to endure us with power. He has called us in Zion to empower us for success in 2023. To empower us for kingdom service in 2023. To empower us for prosperity, for establishment in the year 2023. I sent the prayers last night which are appearing on the screen. We were praying that God will empower us for success. God will empower us for fruitfulness. God will empower us for breakthroughs, for kingdom service, for winning spiritual battles, for dealing with opposition, and for progress in the year 2023. I want to request the praise team, though they are, the number they are, whether they are two, three, or four, please come to the altar. We need to do a worship song, then we enter into prayer. You are praying, oh Lord, empower me. Empower my life for success in this year 2023. For victory, for fruitfulness, for fighting spiritual battles, for progress. Whatever you want to pray for, that God should empower you to achieve. It is up to you. Go before him. I say again, he is the source of empowerment. He is the source of supernatural empowerment. Lead us in a worship song. Oh, 
Katoria Basaka Baganda, Reba Saka Baganda Rubia Sai. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Every destiny requires supernatural empowerment to function as ordained by God. That is why we are here. To receive supernatural empowerment. To receive the ability from God to be enabled in the year 2023. I am praying that God will enable you us from this service that God will give you the ability to succeed this year to break through this year to make uncommon progress this year to silence every enemy of your destiny this year I want you to pray after me to repeat these prayers after me in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, empower my life, empower my life for success, for success, empower my life, empower my life for fruitfulness, for fruitfulness, empower my life, empower my life for breakthrough, for breakthrough, empower my life. Empower for progress. for progress, empower my life, empower my for, life. Kingdom for kingdom service, empower my life, empower my for, life. Winning for winning spiritual battles, empower my life, empower my to, life. Deal with to deal with opposition, empower my life, empower my to, life. Do to do the impossible in 2023. In 2023. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree supernatural empowerment over everyone under the sound of my voice. I decree supernatural empowerment over every marriage here. I decree supernatural empowerment over every family represented here. I decree supernatural empowerment over our children over our businesses, yes. over our jobs, yes, over our careers, yes, over our ministries, yes. over our church. Yes. I decree supernatural empowerment. Amen. Father, let us succeed this year. by your empowerment. Let us reach where we have never reached by your empowerment. Let us receive and achieve what we have never achieved by supernatural empowerment. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these elements. I sanctify this drink and this bread. I bless it in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, envelop these elements with the mystery of the Holy Communion that from now it becomes the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. This represents every other cup that is prepared for us. Every one of them is the body of Christ. Every one of them 
is the blood of Christ. As we partake it, let the mystery of the Holy Communion envelop each one of us. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Everybody shout a big amen. amen. As we partake this Holy Communion, We are partaking the life of Jesus Christ. We say he is the source of all empowerment. He is the source of supernatural empowerment. As you receive him into your body, be empowered. To do the impossible. Be empowered. To overtake. In 2023. Be empowered. To possess your blessings. To possess your inheritance. To silence your enemies. To overcome. Every matter. And every challenge. I declare by. The name of Jesus. As you partake this Holy Communion, you are receiving supernatural empowerment. In Jesus' precious name, I decree. Brother Minami, Pastor Ben, Sister Jocelyn, do the needful. So I want now uh, Pastor Ben to hold the, the, the body, Pastor Jocelyn to hold the, the blood, and Brother Muinami to hold the container. We come here so that we may be able to receive our supernatural empowerment by the reason of the Holy Communion. The Bible says, that we are receiving life. When you read the Bible in the book of John chapter 6. From verse number 50 all the way. We are receiving the life of Christ. Not 15. From verse number 50. Go all the way. It is the life of Christ. That we are receiving. So I welcome you from this side. Come and partake supernatural and this is the blood which comes down from heaven. That okay, let's let's go ahead. Receive your supernatural empowerment by the reason of the Holy Communion as the praise team leads oh, us in a worship. You. 
everything to be. Please come again. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, they are. The people who started, please come. The people who on that low, please come. Please lift up your hand and confess after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I confess. I confess. By the reason of taking the Holy Communion. By the reason of taking the Holy I Communion. I have received. I have received. Supernatural empowerment. Supernatural empowerment. For success in 2023. For success in 2023. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's celebrate Amen. the Lord that empowers each one of us. He is the source of all empowerment. The source of supernatural empowerment. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us now, please you may, I, let me allow you to go back to your seats. Let's celebrate them. May you do the impossible this year, 2023. What they said you cannot achieve, may you achieve. By the end of the year, may you have a testimony that the hand of God has done it for you in Jesus' name. I want to just to uh, bring us to speed on tomorrow's prayer points before we can be able to, you can take your seats so that uh, uh, we handle the issue of tomorrow's prayers. Uh, I want us to please give us uh, the book of Micah chapter 2 verse 13. Micah chapter 2 verse 13 is what the Bible says. The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out pass through the gate and go out by it. Their king will pass before them and the Lord at their head. Isaiah 57 verse number 14. Isaiah 57 verse number 14. That's what the Bible says. And one shall say, heap it up, heap it up. Prepare the way. Take the stumbling brook out of the way of my people. One of the things that I want to say before I give you the, uh, the, the prayer points for tomorrow is that every believer has a glorious destiny. 
every believer has a glorious destiny. But not every believer fulfills that destiny. Why? Because of evil hindrances that are placed by the devil on the path of their destiny. Even though the destinies are glorious, even though the destinies are colorful, there are many people that are not fulfilling their destinies because of evil hindrances. And the Bible is saying, and one shall say, heap it up, heap it up, prepare the way, take away, take the stumbling block out of the way of my people. In another version says, take away the hindering block out of the way of my people. So tomorrow, we will be praying, O oh Lord, deal with every evil hindrance in the year 2023. Every hindrance to my rising. Every hindrance to my testimony. Every hindrance to my next level. Every hindrance to my prosperity. Every hindrance to my dreams. Every hindrance to my establishment. Every hindrance to my increase. May God deal with those evil hindrances. That is what we are praying tomorrow. You may add as much as we want as we say this is a guide. And let us pray tomorrow that the Lord will deal with every evil hindrance that the enemy has placed on the path of our destinies in the year 2023. May you receive grace for prayer and for fasting tomorrow. We will gather again at 5 p.m. tomorrow to come and finalize our fifth day of the program together in worship, in the word, and in prayer. You are most welcome and invite a friend to be blessed the way you are being blessed in this house. So now it is time to worship God with our substances so that we can finalize the service. So please go into your pocket, prepare an offering in the name of Jesus, provoke your supernatural empowerment to start working for you by the reason of sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to do it through the MPESA pay bill, it is appearing on the screen in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for empowering us tonight. And now, as we give money to the work of the kingdom, empower each one of us financially that in the entire 2023, we shall not lack financially. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. So for us who are not using the phone, let us lay our sacrifice on the altar in the name of Jesus. You're most welcome. Neda go to Geria Gai. Neda go to Gai. Where Gai Gai show Da go da da ya da kwenye ria, 
standing so that we may finalize the service with the words of grace. Please look at your neighbor. Let's share the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Go in peace.